This video will contain spoilers for all of Bloodborne. It's a lore exploration by Elysium Academy on YouTube. Today's lore explanation is titled On Snails, Slugs, and the Cord of the Eye. In this Art of Lore series, we here at the Elysium Academy will be exploring some of the potential influences and decisions regarding slugs, snails, and the cord of the eye. The first interesting thing to note is that snails, like humans, can be right or left-handed. The swirl etched into a snail can reveal a lot, right down to their genetic makeup. In fact, snails can't be ambidextrous because they only have one appendage. Interestingly, what determines whether or not a snail is left or right-handed, the swirl of their shell, is a metamorphosis they undergo in the trochophore phase. This metamorphosis sees them undergo torsion. Torsion can happen either clockwise or counterclockwise, and this informs the whorl of the shell of the snail. Now this is interesting because clockwise and counterclockwise metamorphosis are runes that are featured in Bloodborne, and in fact we see very cephalopod-like tentacles, mandibles that might grow in various mollusks. When we read the runes, Rotate it anti-clockwise, the room boosts stamina. Interesting, rotate it. And similarly, rotate it clockwise, this room boosts health. Genetic makeup of a veliger, transform mollusk into, into snail, have different genetic identities. This leads me to an interesting quarrel that's seen in the court of the eye. Now this is a panel from a Junji Ito comic called Uzumaki. Junji Ito is definitely an inspiration for Miyazaki. And in this one, we see a woman terrified of spirals looking at a picture of a cochlea on a doctor's wall and seeing that the cochlea itself is a spiral. Here, I've overlaid an x-ray of a cochlea and the dangling upside down one third of the umbilical. And you can, you can see that it fits pretty snugly inside a human cochlea. Could it be that what the hunter is doing by imbibing this blood is imbuing into their bony labyrinth, which just so happens to be the structure that, which holds the inner ear and the cochlea, this thing that leads to the eye, which we'll see a picture of shortly. Could it be that we are housing infant great ones inside of our own heads to be birthed when our blood is potent enough when in presence of the right materials? Well, the pictures on Madman's insight, and Madman's knowledge, and Great One's wisdom tell us a story that might support this theory, where we see sometimes one and sometimes multiple slugs and phantasms being birthed from a skull. And while we don't see that moment in the final ending of Bloodborne, we do see the doll holding an infant Great One, relatively slug-like, in her arms. So, these have been reflections on snails, slugs, and the cord of the eye combining Junji Ito, a known inspiration for Miyazaki, along with several biological and specific terms found in the runes to snails and slugs, to talk about what exactly is going on in Bloodborne. If you liked, please subscribe to Lucium Academy, and give the video a like.